What's up guys? Welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Melody and welcome to my channel. What's up guys? Uh, for today's video, I decided that I would probably do a quick kind of tutorial on how to put on lashes. Um, lashes, putting on false lashes is something that I am still learning how to properly do. And um, as with a lot of things in makeup, I've learned that what works for someone doesn't work for someone else because our eyes are all very different um, and you know for the longest time I had been applying lashes the same way that I've seen a lot of uh, youtubers do and so I figured that I would kind of pass along my knowledge to you guys of what I have learned about um, false lash application and uh, tell you kind of like what I do and um, yeah I figured that I would kind of show you guys um, I've already done my makeup. I already have mascara on. The only thing that I'm going to be doing today is applying lashes. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and we'll get started. You're like really pretty. Just thought you should know that. Um, I have two different kinds of lashes. Um, I just recently purchased, well repurchased the Ardell. These are the, uh, these aren't the Wispies. This is, this is just the Naturals, uh, the 110s. I'm obsessed with these. I love how they look. Um, and I also have these Kiss Lashes, which as you can tell, I have used quite a bit. These down here are what they essentially look like. As you can tell, they kind of taper out and uh, they kind of get longer and bigger at the ends. And it is to kind of give you like a cat eye effect. I also love these as well. I think though today I'm going to put on the Ardell's. The thing that I love about wearing false lashes is that in my opinion it enhances any eye look that you have and um, it immediately draws attention to the eyes and you know as that old adage is you know the eyes are the window to the soul so um, to me eyes are incredibly important um, to a makeup look. So if I'm gonna go simple like something like this you know I want to make sure that, you know, I'll enhance my eyes as naturally as possible. You know what I'm trying to say? One other tip that I have is that, like I said earlier, everybody's eye shape is different. So don't be afraid to trim your lashes, um, false lashes, not, not, not your real lashes. The best way to do that is, for example, I have my little Swiss Army knife that I've literally had since I was like 16. And it has a pair of scissors on this. You can also use like eyebrow scissors. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I just use these and essentially what you will do is flip it upside down and cut between. As you can tell, you can see where the hairs are notched in on the lash band. And you would essentially cut between these little notches. A lot of times lashes are actually made longer than the typical eye shape is because that way you know for those of us who have elongated eyes then you have plenty of lash and then those who have smaller set eyes they're always able to trim them. I am not sure if I need to trim them but a great way to see if you need to trim them First of all is some tools of the trade. It's always helpful to have a pair of tweezers. Some lash packs come with a set of like plastic tweezer type things so you can use those. That's always fine as well. But I always hold the lash. Camera does not want to focus on the lash. Don't mind my crusty nails because I am not a nail person. I am a makeup person. So um, essentially you will hold the lash. The best way to hold them is close to the band in the middle. That's what works for me. Something like that. A lot of packs of lashes come with glue. This one did not, but that's okay because I'm literally crawling in lash glue over here. I have bunches of kinds. The one that I use the most is this Salon Perfect. Um, the thing I like about this one the most is that, as you can tell, it's actually black well it's like a charcoal gray and it dries down black 
So that's always good when it comes to concealing the band. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on just for size to see if I need to trim them. Let me get my nice giant blue mirror. Okay, so these are a bit long. I actually don't think that I'm going to trim these. Um, another thing that I love about lashes that I look for in lashes is I like lashes to have a thin band. Now you'll see other kinds of lashes that have a thick band on them and those are just harder for me to conceal the band and so I usually try to stay away from those. If you like the big fluttery lashes, chances are it's probably going to have a thicker band so it can carry all of those wispy lashes on them just so you know. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. You can either hold this with your finger or the tweezers, it doesn't matter. So many people think that this is what people with glasses look like or like this is what they see when they don't wear their glasses and that could not be further from the truth. Like we can see. Just so you guys out there who don't wear glasses know, we can see. Here we go. I'm going to, ew, my hands are so dry. The Tennessee weather, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull, apply the lash glue. This is typically how I do that. Just a kind of thin layer. So this is also something that's really, really important. If you are going to put lashes on, um, as soon as you put your glue on, give it some time to get what we call tacky. And that's just for the glue to kind of, you know, stiffen up just a little bit and dry down. And it just makes it so much easier to apply them. If you don't wait a little bit before you put your lashes on, then when you apply them, they kind of move around a lot and it's harder to get exactly where you want them. I usually wait about 30 seconds or so with a thin layer of glue on there like that. Sometimes I'll blow on it just to help it out a little bit. Now, I usually will put it in the center. I don't know if you can see that. I will put it in the center of the lash and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set it down. I usually, instead of doing this, I usually set them down like that. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Okay. And I usually put it right on top of those lashes. I squeeze them together. Now this one, this is what I usually like to do. If I'm wearing a bit of a wing or thick liner, I want to elongate my eyes. So what I'll do is I'll take this end and I'll stretch it out. Whoop. Stretch it out along that wing. So instead of putting it right on top of my lash, I'll kind of wing out, as, as weird as that sounds, wing out my, my lashes. Not only does it elongate my eye, it doesn't poke the corners of my eye. That is like the biggest problem that I ever had with putting applying false lashes, is that when I put them on, a lot of times I can feel it poking and prodding on the corners of my eyes. And once I was able to get past figuring out how to apply them in order to prevent that from happening, lashes became so much more comfortable for me to wear. Now, as you can tell, the difference in wearing lashes and not wearing lashes, like it's not a huge difference, but it is enough to really draw attention to the eyes and it really does bring the whole look together. I love wearing false lashes, especially since I found a way to wear them comfortably. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other lash off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I have gotten my other lash put on and this is what the final look will look like. The best way to learn how to do something is to keep practicing. So if you guys are new, like I was just a couple years ago with applying lashes, then, you know, that's okay. Just keep practicing and, you know, just Go to Walmart, get a cheap pair of lashes, and just practice putting them on. Learn your eye shape and learn what works best for your eyes. If you're anything like me, I have really, really tiny lashes, and so anything that I can have that will help is something that 
I'm all for. If you're looking for ways to try to conceal the lash band even more, um, as I said earlier, uh, dark or black lash glue is a lifesaver that really, really helps. But also, I would go ahead and go back in with your eyeliner. This is the Tarte Sex Kitten liner. This is actually what I am wearing. And you can just go over the lash band like so. And it will conceal it even better. Another way to do that is to go up under your lashes like this and try to fill in the space between your natural lash and the falsies. That's a great way to conceal it as well. And also it makes your lashes look even thicker. Now, as far as removing lashes, it's really, really easy. Um, most lash glues have latex in them. So if you have an allergy, I'm not exactly sure if there are some latex free lash glues out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some research and I will link those down below if you have a latex allergy. I will link those down below so you can check those out. But most lash glues contain latex, so they literally just peel right off. Another thing as far as care is concerned for your lashes, lashes are, you can reuse them, um, but you wanna make sure that you sanitize them before you put them back on your eyes. Another great way, something that I do occasionally, is um, I will actually soak my lashes in like a makeup remover overnight and then in the morning I'm able to easily just get the rest of it off. That's really all the tips that I have. I really really hope that you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did please leave a comment down below and let me know. Please also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. 